In this video, it's five tips to help you find the best used Subaru Outback that you can for your dollar. We're focusing on the fifth generation of this popular utility vehicle, which launched in 2014 for the following model year. Though it was sized similarly to its predecessor, the fifth generation Outback was notably roomier with improved passenger volume, rear seat legroom, and especially cargo volume. Power came from a popular 2.5-liter four-cylinder boxer engine with continuously variable transmission, or CVT, and a six-speed manual was available. A 3.6-liter flat-six engine offered up to 256 horsepower. All models, regardless of trim grade or powertrain, feature symmetrical all-wheel drive. So here are five tips to help you find the best used Outback that you can for the dollar. Number one, consider a 2017 or 2018 model. If it's in your budget, you may find maximum value here. For model year 2017, upgraded comfort and convenience features were added, as was a new Premier with technology package trim grade. The off-road X mode became standard on all models with the CVT transmission. Touring grade models got an improved central command touch display with improved display resolution and connectivity, and a larger battery was installed to help the Outback start more easily in extreme cold. Elsewhere, automatic high beams and an auto-dimming rearview mirror were available this year too. Then for model year 2018, further improvements were added, improving ride quality and comfort levels, strengthening the chassis, and styling was updated inside and out. The interior was trimmed with more high-end materials for a more upscale look and feel. Performance of the braking system, transmission, and certain safety systems was also improved. Tip number two, head unit problems. Some owners have reported issues with the Subaru Outback's touchscreen head unit, particularly on later models from this vintage. Most have not. When test driving, confirm that the touchscreen controls respond to your fingertips in all menus and submenus, and that you have no issue calling up and manipulating all available functions. Some owners say that touchscreens stop responding to their touch, others report issues involving error messages, difficulty connecting to GPS for navigation or media sources for audio playback, non-responsive or slow-to-respond volume dials, and general freezing or crashing of the system. Problems like these may be fixed with a simple system reset or software update, though in some cases, expensive replacement hardware is required. So if the head unit on the used Outback you're considering isn't working properly, be sure you find out why before you buy. Tip number three, windshield damage. A common complaint within the Outback owner's community relates to the durability of the vehicle's windshield, which some say is easily chipped, cracked, or damaged. This is one of the most commonly discussed gripes in various owners' forums. Thankfully, windshield damage is easy to spot on a test drive, so be on the lookout. Just remember that a damaged windshield may negatively affect the operation of the EyeSight safety system, and that replacing a damaged windshield on an EyeSight-equipped model can result in additional costs if the system needs to be recalibrated at the dealership. So if you notice any windshield damage on your test drive, get a quote to repair it and call it into your pricing negotiations. Tip number four, dead batteries. Just like potential windshield damage, surprise dead batteries are another issue commonly discussed by Outback owners online. Some owners report that the lifespan on the factory battery may be as little as two to three years. A weak or dying battery can cause headaches from no-start situations to malfunctioning electronics throughout the vehicle. Many owners recommend preemptive battery replacement every few years to fend off irritating trouble. If you're not positive the battery in the used Outback you are considering is fresh and healthy, be sure to have it tested or replaced. Doing so can make a notable improvement in vehicle reliability. Tip number five, wheel bearing trouble. Some Outback owners from this generation have reported premature wheel bearing wear and failure. Most have not. If the used Outback you are considering has one or more bad wheel bearings, you'll likely hear a rubbing, whining, groaning, or roaring sound at certain speeds, and particularly on the highway. So, quiet the cabin of the Outback you're considering and be on the lookout for unwanted sounds. If you notice any, have the vehicle professionally inspected before you buy. And remember that ignoring the warning signs of a bad wheel bearing can lead to a serious accident. These tips were designed to help test driving shoppers more easily identify possible trouble areas reported by some owners. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Hit that like button down below if you learned something new. And until next time, take care and drive safe.